All right, so today what we're working on is sticking all these fern strips every two foot on center. We're minusing around the windows because my windows aren't here yet. Uh, we're also installing this bottom edge metal to protect our plywood when it uh, so it doesn't hit the concrete or from water damage and splash. So it's a little l channel we nail it on through our our venting so we got venting down low and if you look we have venting up high that we're actually priming the backs before we stick them up and we also got our furring strips primed and then there's the raw wood there so we're priming all six sides of our material. That way it withstands the weather better and uh, it'll stop it from expanding and contracting as much too. So as, as soon as this plywood starts going up, it'll be protected on all six sides. And we'll get it all finished and then we can start hanging some of our exterior plywood. We also got all of our electrical done <clears throat> exterior light fixtures let's show you so anytime we do a penetration on the outside we wrap it with tape okay let me show you these other ones over here we wrap them with Tescondana tape so everything's airtight as much as possible that one's mass taped off too just like we tape our seams so now we've got a, hopefully a vapor tight building as close as possible. And then we got all of our electrical plugs in. They'll be underneath the workshop and a couple above, some for the TV, and then just more over here on this side due to we need electrical in certain spots to satisfy the client's needs for this workshop. All right, we'll show you uh, progress once we start um, hanging our siding. Um, insulation should be going in hopefully in the next day or two. Um, our roof will also be going on in the next day or two. And the good thing about this material here, because it's a vapor barrier, um, even if it gets wet, it doesn't, it doesn't get anything wet on the inside. Uh, so we're good with hanging our insulation because uh, it won't get wet. Okay, we're hanging our Intello Plus up on the inside of our roof rafters, and then we'll follow it down the walls. For now, we're hanging a uh, drywall, which is a difficult process due to our custom made trusses. It's a trial and error of cutting and measuring and getting each piece to fit properly inside of each bay.